Hi everyone, welcome back to another basic Photoshop tutorial. In this one we're just going to look at changing your line art colour. Hopefully I can keep this one short. So if you watched my recent tutorial on layer organisation and management, you'll know that over here in the right hand panel we have our line art and our colours on their own layer as you can see there. So we can still play around with these. So I'm going to show you a really quick way to start with to change your line art. So on this layer here that I've got selected that says line art, we're going to just press Ctrl and U on the keyboard, which will bring up this hue saturation slider. And the first thing we need to do is come over here and tick Colorize. Once I've clicked this, you can see it already changes these panels here. Because our line art is already black, it doesn't matter how much color we add, it wouldn't show because the color is so dark it's black. So the very first thing we need to do is just drag this lightness bar across. I'm going to put it about midway so that you can see the difference. You can already tell the line art is a different color. From here you can play around with the hue which is the actual color and the saturation which is how strong the color is. So for this tutorial I'm going to turn saturation up and you can see there how different each color looks. It's always different depending on what image you're using. It gives a very different effect. So just for something different, let's leave this one blue. And then you just hit OK when you're happy with that. And really it can be as simple as that. Don't forget you can press Ctrl and U again and simply turn the lightness up to full and you would get your black line art back. So you're not risking anything by trying this. Okay, so I've just duplicated that again and put my line art back to black. Just to show you one more method that you can do, if you want to use multiple colours within your line art, we can quite literally paint these on. So I'm on my line art copy again, and this time I'm going to select this button here, which is lock transparent pixels. So I'm going to select a random colour just to show you. Now when I press B, I'll click on my brush icon, which is over here. I can now use the brush to paint over the line art. And you can see there that it only paints where I ask it to go. So the benefit of this is you could get multiple colours into your drawing. So for example, I'm going to change a lot of my line art on here to yellow, but a darker yellow to match the shading. Then I'm going to select black so that I can recolor the eyes because I wanted them to stay black. Or you could even select white and do something a little bit funky with them, a little bit different, just to achieve a different look. I'm going to change the ears to grey on the black area. Again, I'm just doing this more to give you an example of how you can change things to get different effects. I'm going to change his cheeks to a darker red. And I'm going to make his mouth and nose a very dark brown, almost black line up. Let's go a little bit lighter on the teeth. And it really is that simple, guys. So we've got the first one that we designed last week, which is this one. Just keeping the line art black, nice and easy. But if you kept your line art on a separate layer, you can of course press Ctrl and U and just change the color with a few clicks of the mouse. Or you can go in, lock the transparent pixels and paint them manually to get a different look altogether. I am by no means saying that painting the line art looks better than black line art. It really depends on the individual illustration and what kind of look you're going for. But that's how you change the line art. That gives you some options. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. As always, if you did enjoy the video, leave me a comment below. Let me know what other tutorials you guys want to see. And of course, make sure you subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, everyone.